Over the past few years, AI has been getting ridiculously accurate. We have seen programs like the NVIDIA Canvas which can draw realistic images based on your, you know, basic lines. Well, there are other programs as well that can draw realistic photos and renders just based on your text input, meaning that you can just type what you describe as an image and the AI will put that together. Basically a text to image conversion. There are many services like that, for example, DALI by OpenAI. It's not publicly available yet, but it promises some pretty great results. I have joined the waitlist, so when they have something available, they'll email me and we can check it out together but in the meantime we can check out something else that's already available it's called pixray text to image there's a new version of that available which is much faster i mean this is the interface that you see and it's a web-based interface so unlike nvidia canvas it doesn't require your machine's hardware to perform these things you don't need an rtx gpu to run this thing it can even work on your phone so in this prompt section of the input you can describe what the image should look like and based on your description it'll put something together in this output section i mean you can already see an example manhattan skyline at sunset and this thing is generated out of ai like it's not something that it has downloaded from the internet it's completely unique to this program and even though the resolution is not the highest you have to admire like how beautiful that thing looks. Now is that the case every time? Let's check it out. Let's run a few cases of our own and see what it puts together. Let's say, I mean, I recently saw Samurai Jack once again, so I'm feeling like some samurai themed thing. So I'm going to give something like um, Samurai Red Sunset. Let's try submitting that. So you can see the prediction running in real time. And this is a lot faster than most other apps I've used on the web. It takes a few minutes in my experience, around two, two and a half minutes, and it will iteratively show you the development of the image. So it starts from the same color blob screen and you can see from second to second, it improves quite a bit. You know, in the description, we just mentioned three words. I'm thinking maybe it wasn't enough because I've seen people writing two to three sentences, but it's still doing a pretty good job of putting together a red sunset. Where, where is the samurai though? I don't see my samurai. It's crazy how every 5 to 10 seconds it gets more and more clearer, right? And this is happening in real time, like it's it's working off of a server somewhere without taking any resource from my machine, so the speed doesn't depend on my hardware. Okay, it's putting something together there that looks like a samurai, maybe it's just my imagination putting things together. Let's give it some time and see what it cooks up. Alright, so it has finished and this is the final output. Samurai Red Sunset, I mean yeah, I clearly see a red sunset and some Japanese themed buildings, the samurai doesn't look quite uh, convincing. I mean, I can tell that it's a silhouette of a samurai. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad. Let's try something else. Let's give a little more description this time. Let's say samurai is standing against a purple sunset. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we should change the drawer to pixel. I mean, there are a bunch of things you can select here. Let's see what fast pixel looks like. Cued. Oh, it's not so fast, is it? Alright, it's starting something and oh, I can already see a clearer picture of Samurai. Maybe this is better? What's going on? I've been stuck on this, this same image for a while now. Maybe it's not working. Let's quit. Let's go back to our original drawer and try again. Oh wow, okay, it's already drawing a purple, some sort of a background. I mean, we described it as a purple sunset. It's drawing a purple landscape. Maybe maybe because purple sunset is not very realistic. Is Is that why? Okay, it's drawing some sort of a samurai figure, I think. It has some trouble with their heads, like it's crushing his head every second. Oh my, wow, stop it. Okay, the sky looks beautiful, but uh, I mean, that kind of looks like a samurai if I if I look at it, but you know, it, it, it doesn't have a human face on it. I mean, just based on one line descriptions, drawing human faces may be a bit too much to ask. And this, this looks pretty good actually, and you can download these images too. Let's try something else. Let's try something that combines reality with fiction. Let's say um, superhero cat flying around. Submit. Okay, I can see something flying around. Oh, I see a cape, you know, a cape, a blue colored cape. I wish the cape was red. Maybe I should have mentioned that with a red cape or something. All right, it's drawing a bunch of fur. I can see the paws. I can see a cat-like body, but I don't again see the face. It seems to have trouble with faces. Okay, it's finished. I don't see a cat face. It seems like a cat which is rolled up in a curtain falling from the ceiling. It doesn't look like my cat, that's for sure. But hey, this is fun, you know. Seeing these images come together just based on a few line descriptions of yours, it's, it's pretty amazing. And there are a bunch of better examples down here which you can see. Let's take a look at some of these. That looks interesting. A violent explosion of love. 
so it's an explosion and it has some red chunks maybe maybe because of some heart exploding or whatever i mean that that looks dope actually and what the hell is this down here using artists as an example when anyone can create amazing art there will be incredible upside for humanity and uh, they literally gave like a two three line description here and this is what it put together Bruh. it looks like a creature from you know the thing the movie have you seen that pretty scary stuff living room in the 1970s <laughs> what just a bunch of colors was that all the 70s were and what is this thing down here Ooh. no 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 we, we need to stop this i'll leave a link to this website in the description it's pretty fun you know it it doesn't really take any hardware resource as i mentioned and anyone can run this you don't need any specific rtx gpu or stuff like that so yeah it's kind of fun to see how far ai has come from its early days let me know what you think of pixray and you can share some artwork that you have made on discord link is in the description